Lionel Messi won the Ballon d'Or 2023 on October 31st, beating two younger colleagues, Erling Haaland and Kylian Mbappe. This is the eighth time the Argentine superstar has won the prestigious award in his career, a record that will be difficult to break. Lionel Messi first won the Ballon d'Or in 2009, when he was just 22 years old. He then went on to win seven more Ballon d'Or awards in the following years, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2015, 2019, 2021, and 2023. At the age of 36 and 4 months, Messi surpassed Karim Benzema to become the second oldest player ever to win the Ballon d'Or, behind the great Stanley Matthews at the age of 41 in 1956. In addition, Messi is also the first player to win four consecutive Ballon d'Or awards from 2009 to 2012, and the first player to win the award in the colors of three different clubs, Barcelona. PSG and Inter Miami. Although there was much controversy about Messi's performance, which was not particularly impressive in his final time at PSG, it is fair to say that Messi's performance at the 2022 World Cup was too outstanding and enough for him to win the Ballon d'Or 2023. At Qatar 2022, Messi carried the Argentina national team to end their 36 year World Cup drought. Messi won the World Cup's Best Player Award, scoring seven goals and three assists, just one goal behind Golden Boot winner Mbappe. It can be said that if it were not for Lionel Messi's leadership, Argentina would have found it difficult to win the World Cup 2022. This shows how great the influence of the 36-year-old player is at the national team level. At the club level, despite having a normal season, with some disappointment, PSG were knocked out of the Champions League early, Messi's goal-scoring and assist record was still a dream for all players. He scored 21 goals and provided 20 assists for his teammates to score after 41 appearances in all competitions, contributing to PSG's League One title. With his eighth Ballon d'Or win, Messi has set an unprecedented record, leaving his rivals behind in the number of times he has won the prestigious award. Cristiano Ronaldo, who is second behind him, has only been honored five times. And legends such as Johan Cruyff, Van Basten, and Michel Platini have only won the Ballon d'Or three times. In the women's football category, Mifuda Aitana Bonmotti won the women's Ballon d'Or after winning almost every tournament she participated in. From Liga F to Women's Champions League, Spanish Super Cup, and the 2023 Women's World Cup. The joy of one person will be the sorrow of another, and there will be much regret for Erling Holland who had a wonderful season at the club level but had to settle for second place in the voting. The Norwegian striker had a season that could not be better as he played a major role in Man City's success with the great treble in the Premier League, FA Cup and UEFA Champions League. The 22-year-old scored 52 goals in 53 appearances in all competitions, as well as breaking numerous records and winning numerous individual awards such as European Golden Boot, Premier League and Champions League top scorer for the 2022-2023 season, European Player of the Year, PFA Player of the Season. Meanwhile, Kylian Mbappe won the bronze ball after an impressive performance at the 2022 World Cup when he carried the French national team to the final and only had to accept defeat to Messi's to good Argentina. In other categories, young midfielder Jude Bellingham of Real Madrid was awarded the Young Player of the Year, and Milano Martinez won the Goalkeeper of the Year award, Erling Holland won the Forward of the Year award. Man City was honored in the Men's Football Club of the Year category.